Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. Today we are going to discuss one of the important topics in a checkpoint firewall world which is Core Excel. Core Excel we call it multi core acceleration as well. Basically Core Excel is the very first security technology which fully leverage general purpose multi core processors. Core Excel introduces advanced core level load balancing that increases throughput for the deep inspection required to achieve intrusion prevention and high throughput on the firewall. In other words, with Core Excel, high performance and high security can be achieved simultaneously. Core Excel multi core CPU support enables checkpoint security gateway to share traffic amongst the core in a single system, which provides superior performance on a single server. Let's understand how Core Excel works. You know, uh, using the Core Excel, the firewall kernel is replicated multiple times. This means multiple kernel instances are generated. Each generated kernel instances run on a one core. The instances handle traffic concurrently. Each instance is a complete and independent inspection model. <clears throat> if you don't know about the inspection model, so please refer my other video content where I have explain deeply how the packet inspection handles. Regarding the network topology, management configuration and security policies, the Core Excel enable gateway behaves similarly or regularly the way the normal gateway behave without the Core Excel enabled. Now let's see what are the features we get from the Core Excel. Core Excel introduces advanced core level load balancing. Multi-core CPU support allow the sharing of traffic among the core of single system. Joining multi-core CPU with secure Excel isolation can deliver more than 10 gigabyte per second of intrusion prevention support. Core Excel replicate the firewall kernel on each processor core and handle traffic concurrently. With each instance, a complete and independent inspection can be achieved with the kernel. Now let's see uh, the features which is not compatible with the Core Excel. Number one is your checkpoint QoS. Number two, traffic view in a smart view monitor. Route based VPNs, IP pool NAT, overlapping NAT, SMTP resources. I mean, when Core Excel enable this feature may or may not support, or maybe the performance will degrade. Now let's see how firewall handles traffic with Core Excel feature enabled and disabled. Let's understand how the traffic is handled when Core Excel feature is disabled. Consider you have a two CPU, CPU1 and CPU2. When the packet comes in a CPU1, then CPU1 asks firewall code or it send interrupt to firewall code to process received packet by the CPU1. Then firewall code lock itself and process the packet uh, which he received from the uh, uh, CP1. And in case, in the same time, if second packet comes, it gives that packet, that packet goes to CPU2, and now CPU2 uh, asks or send interrupt to firewall code, so that uh, firewall code acknowledge that, okay, the packet 2 is received by the CPU2, and now that need to be processed. But here, a uh, firewall code will first process the packet one and then go to the packet two. So it's it's, a, it's a, there is an you know some sort of delay, but it's in a very you know minus we can't we can't calculate. But that is there, so which gives you you know performance degradation or performance impact somehow uh, we, when the core Excel is not enabled. And this sort of drawback, you know, uh, is got overcome when we enable the Core Excel feature. Now let's see how the packet handle when the Core Excel is enabled. Uh, consider the similar situation: you have a CPU one and CPU two. Only the addition what Core Excel software gives you, which is secure network distributor or secure network dispatcher. We call it as the SND. But don't underestimate the SND. SND role is to processing 
incoming traffic from network interfaces and send or assign that traffic to the relevant kernel whenever the packet received to the SND SND take that packet process that packet it, it has uh, you know ability to send that packet to the you know uh, relevant core SND uh, need to be run on a core so we can assign core to the SND and uh, or when we don't do that the the firewall algorithm automatically assigns uh, SND to the core let's see how SND works when traffic entering into the NIC uh, traffic directed to a processing core running SND then SND takes the decision on which core the traffic should forward it same process happens for rest of the packets and uh, the processing of that packet is get increased so now let's see how it helps to you know uh, speed up or provide extraordinary support you guys are aware of the stateful inspection how the firewall works uh, with the feature stateful inspection if you don't know just uh, look on my video and see uh, how the uh, checkpoint firewall uh, you know work on a stateful inspection here also uh, the stateful inspection feature come into the picture so basically firewall maintain the connection table we know we all know that connection table contain the packet attributes uh, uh, those are like uh, source IP destination IP source port destination port protocol sequence numbers and those attributes get captured for fast processing likewise SND also have the you know dispatcher table which keep record of uh, you know uh, this sort of tuples, uh, this sort of uh, packet attributes. If the packet allowed or a drop or a you know whatever the things happen or happen on a packet from the CPU, all those things and the track of those things you know maintained by the uh, SND. So having all these details in place with the SND, SND gives a priority for the packet as per the decision or as per the you know uh, the data what it contains so consider uh, uh, the packet comes which already dropped by the firewall that packet enters into the SND and SND already has those details like this packet is already dropped so SND don't forward that packet to that uh, uh, firewall core or like a CPU it itself you know take a decision on okay this packet is already dropped so don't need to for, you know, forward and that packet is already get you know dropped by the SND or before that so this improves the speed a lot you know processing speed a lot and your CPU get always you know more processing for the rest of the packet which are the genuine or legitimate there's a lot to discuss on SND but uh, uh, the details what's, uh, whatever I have just explained is more than enough to understand you know how the core Excel works now let's see how a uh, core excel uh, cores get assigned when you enable a core excel feature the number of the kernel in, uh, instances is derived from the total number of the cores available in the gateway if your gateway run only on a one core then core excel cannot be enabled as as you can see on screen number of core 1 core excel is always visible likewise if your gateway run only on a 2 core then 2 core can be derived from the 2 core itself for the kernel uh, inspection if your gateway run on a 4 core then 3 kernel instances are derived if your gateway run on a 8 core then 6 kernel instances are derived and if your gateway run on a more than 8 core then total code derived can be calculated as a number of cores minus 4 for example, if your gateway has 24 core, then 24 minus 4 equal to 20 core, core can be derived. I have jotted down some important point uh, when you add a processing core to the hardware uh, when kernel uh, core actually is enabled. So, increasing the number of processing core on a hardware does not automatically increase the kernel instances. I mean, 
you need to manually do this thing if kernel instances are not increased core actually does not utilize some of the processing cores after upgrading hardware increase number of kernel instances using cp config so even if you uh, core actually is got enabled to the say x version and uh, you everything is working well uh, cores are assigned but if you upgrade that uh, x version to x plus one then also you have to perform the similar steps so that the uh, the cores assigned uh, previously assigned cores similarly assigned to the next version you can deliver this work from the cp config i'll be discussing more on how you can you know assign the uh, core excel on a uh, on, on onto the gateways uh, i'll be creating a different videos video for that so please subscribe my channel and stay tuned so i can you know uh, you can get a, a more detailed content i mean upcoming content then reinstalling the gateway will change the number of the kernel instances if you have upgraded the hardware to increase processing core or the number of kernel instances was changed i mean whenever uh, uh, you risk i mean you need you need to make a uh, you need to consider this point as well whenever you reinstall your gateway uh, do the uh, installation of your gateway from scratch uh, whatever the core you already assigned uh, those gate uh, need to be reassigned because uh, that will not carry forward use cp config to reconfigure the number of the kernel instances uh, we will see on a, in, in upcoming videos how we can use cp config to you know assign cores in cluster deployment or a clustering deployment the changing number of the kernel instances is treated as a version upgrade so if you have a uh, cluster to say two or more gateway in a cluster and on one of the gateway if you change the kernel instances or you assign a you know number of more cores so that considered as a upgrade or upgrade and the the device which is not you know updated with the this core will be at the lower version and the upgrade uh, put it uh, i mean the device which having this core will be the uh, uh, you know upgraded version it's not like a os upgrade version but that compatibility or the you know uh, the matching need to be have for clustering to form that will be not there and due to that the cluster will you know fail you won't be see the active passive or active standby or active active status here so this is uh, all i have for the core excel for now on next video uh, i will or we will see how secure excel and core excel works together you know the checkpoint firewall they come up with uh, the two beautiful features one is your core excel and another one is secure excel and they both work together to give you you know high throughput and uh, uh, speed of your traffic processing so on the next video i'll be you know talking about the secure excel and how the secure excel uh, uh, joined to the core excel how that uh, processing and speed uh, you know throughput get increased so guys uh, please stay tuned uh, subscribe my channel and uh, just uh, see when my next video come just watch that and you will be having a lot of good understanding on core excel and secure excel and whatever the features uh, the checkpoint offers